Welcome to On Chemistry. In this video, we are going to see inorganic concept that is VSEPR theory. We will go into detailed discussion with the help of 3D animation. Why 3D animation is given? It will be great for the understanding, great for imagining the molecule. It will be ideal for learning VSEPR theory. I will encourage you to make use of it and understand it better. Here I give quick references. For future you can work it out and find by our method. All molecules obey our method. Most of the common molecules are given. So make use of it. What you will see in this video is what is VSVR theory and shapes, hybridization and complete basics on that and easy formula for structure prediction which is Hutch and lone pair calculation and examples with lone pair without lone pair and few exceptions. So study in the Tata it will be very easy. So what is VSCPR theory means? Simple. You have six cups. How will you arrange it? Will you arrange linear way or stacking or stacking in inverse way or stacking in opposite way? So how you can arrange this VSCPR? So basically you should know how you arrange the atom within the structure is VSCPR. You are going to predict shape and geometry of the molecules. Let us analyze some situation. You are having two atoms. You can consider it as two balls. How will you arrange it? Any way you arrange, you have straight line. It is two atom category. You will always get straight line. If you get three, what will be the situation? It can be a triangular or you can say trigonal planar or linear. This is the two possibility, nothing more. When atoms getting more and more, you have to imagine better. So 4 comes square arrangement which is square planar or tetrahedral. Middle one will hold at 4 corners of pyramid like arrangement. So it's a tetrahedral. Pi will be little more interesting because it has 3 arrangement which is pentagonal on plane just a pentagon or square pyramidal square with one ball above you can see it's like pyramid so it's a pyramid structure or trigonal pyramidal trigonal pyramidal means just a triangle on the plane above and below one ball so it is trigonal pi pyramidal so pi atom arrangements will have trigonal pi pyramidal then six this is most common among the complexes and higher end molecule. Simple hexagonal arrangement means it's six atom on the plane and pentagonal pyramidal means five atom on the plane, one is above. Octahedral means four, one above, one below, which is the stable arrangement it will most often come in our complex. Then seven, this Mostly it's a hypothetical real life molecules are rare. 7 means pentagonal pi pyramidal meaning pentagon below and above atom and hexagonal pyramidal which is 6 atom in plane 1 atom above the plane. So these are all hypothetical we should know that. Then shapes we should know the shape before getting into VSPR theory. It will help us to understand much better what are all possible, what could be the geometry. So the allowed structures for all type of arrangement is 2 mean definitely linear, 3 mean linear or trigonal, 4 mean square planar or tetragonal or you can say tetrahedral and 5 mean square pyramidal, trigonal bipyramidal, 6 mean octahedral, 7 mean pentagonal bipyramidal. These are all energetically stable, so these are all allowed structures. Let us see all the arrangements in the 3D way. 
ட்ரைகோனல் ஈஸி டு இமேஜின் த்ரீ ஆட்டம்ஸ் இந்த பிளேன் ஒன் ஹோல் த த்ரீ ஆட்டம் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் சென்ட்ரல் மெட்டல் ஆட்டம் ஸோ எவ்ரி வேர் சென்ட்ரல் ஆட்டம் கம் விச் ஹோல் த டெர்மினல் ஆட்டம்ஸ் ஸோ யூ ஹவ் டு ஆல்வேஸ் இமேஜின் ஒன் ஆட்டம் ஹோல் அதர் த்ரீ ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ சென்ட்ரல் மெட்டல் ஆட்டம் ஸோ த்ரீ மீன் ட்ரைகோனல் பிளேனர் ஃபோர் மீன்ஸ் சென்ட்ரல் மெட்டல் ஆன் த மிடில் அண்ட் யூ ஹவ் ஃபோர் ஆட்டம்ஸ் ஆன் த கார்னர் ஸோ யூ ஹவ் ட ட்ரைட்டல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ட்ரைகோனல் பிரமிடல் ஈஸி டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த்ரூ அவர் அனிமேஷன் ஸோ ட்ரைகோனல் மீன் த்ரீ ஆட்டம் ஆன் த பிளேன் ஒன் ஆட்டம் அபவ் ஒன் ஆட்டம் பிலோ ஸோ இட் இஸ் அவர் ஃபைவ் ஆட்டம் அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஆட்டம் மீன் ஆக்டாகிட்டல் ஒன் ஆட்டம் அபவ் ஒன் ஆட்டம் பிலோ ஃபோர் ஆன் த பிளேன் ஸோ இட்ஸ் ஆக்டாகிட்டல் இட்ஸ் வெரி காமன் அமௌவ் சிக்ஸ் ஆட்டம் அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் And the interesting thing, bend shape. Bend shape or V shape or angular shape mean middle atom hold the two atom in a particular angle. Then pyramidal mean it is like pyramid. One atom go above the plane hold the three atom. And Caesar it's very rare and interesting. Caesar mean two atom on the plane which is opposite angle to the two atom on above. So it will be like Caesar structure. Then T shape. Central atom holds the other atom in 90 degree angle, so it will be like T-shape. So these are all the basic shapes, but unusual. Then some small notes on octahedral. Octahedral, if you imagine why the name octahedral came in, it is eight faces, but six atoms. So octa, don't confuse. Another fact is, Octahedral no axial and equatorial because all atoms are same. If you rotate, axial become equatorial, equatorial become axial. Why? Because all are in 90 degree, highly symmetrical. So this structure is possible. Then axial equatorial mean what? The atoms on the plane is equatorial. Atoms on the axis is called axial. It will come in two different types of shape. One is an octahedral, another is an trigonal pyramidal. Octahedral in the plane is called equatorial, on the axis is called axial. Same with trigonal bipyramidal, in the plane is called equatorial, on the axis is called axial. Before we get into more detail, let us look at the basics of VSPR. because it will help us to understand much better so let us continue let us first see what is lone pair and bond pair bond pair mean bonding electron the pair of electron required to form a bond so here nh is given in the bond formation occur with the bond pair electron on the contrary you have lone pair electron which don't involve in the bond It's a non-bonded electron. It is an unpaired electron. So you should know the difference between lone pair and bond pair. Then you should know the central metal atom. Central metal atom is like hero in a movie. It holds everything. So it holds everything means it holds lone pair and atom. Normally big atom is the central metal atom. Only one in count. Higher will be the atomic number. So you should be intelligent enough to identify the central metal atom. Then only you can apply our concepts. Then hybridization. Comical way I given. Here hybridization means combining parrot and rat. You have parrot. So rat and parrot means you are mixing the two meaningful. Get one out of it as a meaningful product. Here we are mixing the SPD orbital. We are getting the high end hybrid orbital. so you should know the steric number which is very important one so orbitals along with that and shapes here steric number 2 mean two orbital s and p which is linear shape then 3 mean sp2 trigonal planar 4 mean tetrahedral which is sp3 5 mean sp3 d1 trigonal bipyramidal 6 mean sp3 d2 octahedral so you should memorize the steric number hybridization and shape let us look at the all shapes once before get into more detail trigonal planar tetrahedral trigonal bipyramidal octahedral square planar bend shape trigonal pyramidal 
square pivotal caesar and t shaped caesar hard to imagine better rewatch and understand it then you should know the important fact geometry and shape geometry means the position of atom mathematically normally it accord with lone pair suppose you have tetrahedral mean all the atoms and lone pair in the position of tetrahedral so the geometry is tetrahedral shape mean without lone pair meaning lone pair is not visible because size of the electron is way less than the atom so it not visible so shape mean without lone pair ammonia geometry is tetrahedral shape is trigonal pyramidal so you should know the difference between geometry and shape let us get into more detail theory and formula for the vscpr theory what is the name stands for mean valence cell electron repulsion meaning repulsion decide the structure because electrons of same charge repel each other and should know the fact that the repulsion accounts lone pair lone pair is more repulsive then lone pair bond pair then bond pair bond pair so you should always separate high angle with lone pair lone pair here the important one single slide will help you much is formula for h h equals v plus b minus c whole divided by 2 v is valency of central metal atom b is number of bonded atom c is charge then lone pair calculation will be h minus b then you calculate the steric number then hybridization then the geometry out of it so this is the slide is very important you should memorize it then how you predict it first you find the central metal atom then the valency of it then count the bonded atom and find the charges on that then steric number calculation our formula will apply then write hybridization geometry and shape so calculate the lone pair find the real shape and you should know the difference between shape and geometry the one important fact is h is whole number never come as fraction to make this successful you should memorize at least first 20 periodic element because you should know the valency of it then only you can apply this one then let us see the example here you will learn much so first type will be examples without lone pair let us look at the simple one boron trichloride central metal atom is boron its valency is 3 because p because p1 s2 so it is 3 then bonded atom is chlorine which is 3 so the charge is not available there so if you apply in the h formula 3 plus 3 minus 0 whole divided by 2 6 by 2 which gives 3 lone pair calculation h minus b which is 3 minus 3 equals 0 so h3 we have so h3 mean sp2 hybridization shape is trigonal planar so now you should know memorize the formula memorize the lone pair formula and memorize the table to understand the hybridization and geometry of it here lone pair is not there so both geometry and shape are same then let us look at the known example ch4 here carbon is the central metal atom hydrogen is the bonded atom carbon valency is 4 bonded atom is hydrogen which is 4 and the charge is 0 which is 8 by 2 gives 4 lone pair will be 4 minus 4 which gives 0 h4 mean sp3 hybridization tetrahedral already you might know so methane shape is tetrahedral then pcl5 pcl5 is the known molecule phosphorus is the central metal atom so if you apply in the formula p plus b minus c bonded atoms are 5 valency is 5 no charge 0 which gives 10 by 2 each is equal 5 lone pair is 5 minus 5 0 so no known pair no issue h5 mean sp3 d hybridization which is trigonal bipyramidal if you look at our 3d animation you could understand it better three atoms on the plane and one above one below phosphorus holding all of it 
so shape of PCL5 is trigonal bipyramidal. Then let us look at SF6. Sulfur is the oxygen family, which is the central metal atom. Valency is 6. Bonded atom is fluorine, which is 6. So no charge, which is 0. So H value, if you calculate, means 6 plus 6 minus 0 by 2, means 12 by 2, 6. Lone pair H minus B, which is 6 minus 6, 0. So H6 means sp 3 d 2 which is octahedral. You can understand it better by 3D animation. Sulfur on the middle, all fluorine at the terminal. 4 fluorine on the floor, 1 above, 1 below, which is a perfect octahedral shape. So shape of SF6 is octahedral. Then let us see the example with lone pair, which is little complicated because geometry and shape will be different. So stay tuned. Let us look at the ammonia, which is simpler one. So nitrogen valency is 5, bonded atoms are 3. If you apply in our formula, 5 plus 3 minus 0 whole divided by 2, which is 8 by 2 gives 4. If you calculate the lone pair, which is H minus B, which is 4 minus 3 equals 1. So H4 means sp 3 hybridization. If you do it with lone pair, you have tetrahedral shape. But if you look at deeply, lone pair is not visible. It will be like pyramid. So lone pair can be anywhere. If you look at it, the pyramidal shape on 3D animation is more visible. Three atom on a plane, nitrogen go above the plane to create the pyramid. So ammonia, geometry is tetrahedral, shape is trigonal pyramidal. Then let us look at the water. Water is H2O. If you apply in our formula, oxygen valency is 6, bonded atoms are 2, which is whole divided by 2, which is 8 by 2 gives 4. So steric number is 4. If you apply the lone pair H minus B, which gives 4 minus 2 gives 2. So steric number 4 means tetrahedral. But if you look at it, the geometry will be really a bin shape because lone pair is away from each other and it is not visible. So it is a bin shape. Oxygen holding the two hydrogen with an angle. So it's a bin shape. So geometry is tetrahedral, shape is bin here. Let us look at xenon trichloride cation. Here steric number calculation, xenon mini inert gas configuration which is octet 8, bonded atom 3 and charge is minus 1. So if you apply it, you have 10 by 2 which gives 5. The lone pair will be H minus B which is 5 minus 3 gives 2. H5 means sp 3 dehybridization. Shape is trigonal bipyramidal. But the question is where the lone pair come? Lone pair always come equatorial. Other possible shapes are axial equatorial, axial axial. Let us see why the lone pair come in equatorial. The lone pair come anywhere, but lone pair on equatorial will have less number of repulsion. Here I given list of repulsion. If you go through separately, almost T shape has the favorable one. It has only six. If you look at the other, it almost has 10, so it is completely unstable. So lone pair on equatorial position is stable in all cases. Then let us look at SF4. SF4 means it's a sulfur with which valency is 6, bonded atom is 4. So 6 plus 4 whole divided by 2, which is 10 by 2, gives 5. So H is 5, the lone pair will be H minus B, which is 5 minus 4 gives 1. So H5 means trigonal bipyramidal. Lone pair where it is come. As we already predicted, lone pair come in equatorial. So if you look at it, the structure will be like CESA because electron is not visible. So CESA structure are given separately. The 3D animation will help you to much better because lone pair is not visible. Real structure will look like CESA. So shape of SF4 is CESA. Then let us look at more complicated example which is I3- Here everybody wonders which is central metal atom, which is bonded atom. Here
here both are same central metal atom is iodine bonded is iodine and charge is minus there so if you look at it iodine valence is 7 bonded atoms are 2 iodine charge is minus 1 so minus of minus 1 mean 10 by 2 which gives 5 lone pair will be h minus b which is 5 minus 2 3 so lone pair will be 3 as we already predicted lone pair always come in equatorial three bonded atoms so all in linear because it is in axial three lone pair in equatorial so shape will be simple linear shape but lone pair is not visible so geometry is trigonal by pyramidal shape is linear then let us look at if5 iodine is the halogen bonded with halogen again if you look at the steric number which is h equals 7 plus 5 because 5 bonded atom 7 is valency of iodine total is 12 by 2 gives 6 lone pair will be h minus b which is 6 minus 5 equals 1 so h5 mean sp3 dehybridization trigonal bipyramidal so the geometry is octahedral but one lone pair is there where it comes axial or equatorial but in octahedral no axial no equatorial so lone pair come anywhere shape will be square pyramidal because lone pair is not visible atoms are higher in so it will be like four atoms on the plane one atom above the plane so shape of if5 is square pyramidal then let us look at xcf4 xenon is the inert gas valence is 8 bonded atom is 4 which is fluorine so total will be 12 by 2 gives 6 so 6 mean sp3 dehybridization and lone pair will be h minus b which is 6 minus 4 equals to 2 lone pair comes so octahedral 2 lone pair mean as we already predicted where the lone pair come mean equatorial but here the catch lone pair can be better position at axial it can be axial not equatorial it's the important exception better you memorize it so xcf4 safe is square planar then let us see exception exception mainly on oxygen so oxygen comes our rules can be little bit ineffective let us see the exception how you can handle it If oxygen comes, don't count as the bonded atom for steric number, but lone pair you counted. To put it more simply, for steric number calculation, don't count oxygen, but for lone pair calculation, you should count it. ClO3 minus is given, Cl is 7, charge is minus 1, oxygen you don't count it, 0. So steric number will be 7 plus 0 plus 1, which is 8 by 2 gives 4. 4 mean lone pair calculation. The lone pair calculation is 4 minus 3 equals 1. So total 1 lone pair. So H4 mean sp3 hybridization tetrahedral. But shape will be trigonal pyramidal because lone pair is not visible. So what you land here is oxygen don't count for steric number but count for lone pair. Here I given quick references for your quick understanding as well as self learning. What you learn from this video is what is steric number which is h equals b plus b minus c whole divided by 2 lone pair will be h minus b b is valency b is bonded atom c is charge and repulsion you should account for lone pair lone pair is highest bond pair bond pair is lowest then you should know the size of the atom is way greater than size of electron so it don't contribute structure so geometry versus shape will come for oxygen don't count for h but count for lone pair calculation and you should know the steric number table which is h3456 mean sp2 sp3 sp3d sp3d2 so corresponding shapes trigonal planar tetrahedral trigonal bipyramidal octahedral then you should memorize all the shapes trigonal planar tetrahedral trigonal bipyramidal octahedral and square planar and unusual shapes bend trigonal pyramidal square pyramidal c is the and t shape you should master all shapes for better imagination
then very important fact where the lone pair comes lone pair always come equatorial but in octahedral shape it always come as transaxial so simple fact you should memorize lone pair always come equatorial then here i given lone pair chart where the lone pair come it will be quick for you to self learning as well as understanding one lone pair will be easy two comes choose the highest distance three comes always choose equatorial four comes mostly will be linear system and you should know the fact that geometry mean with lone pair shape mean without lone pair then i given again quick references Better you choose some of the molecule. Work for it. Choose the complex one. It will make you to understand all the concept and keep in mind that oxygen. Oxygen don't count for H, but count for lone pair. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion or feedback, comment below.